and a different chapter of yeah. Isaiah, so it's all fine. But um, anyway, we that's what we hear from the political class. Um, I want us to transition and listen to what has been transpiring on the campaign trail. It's 71 days to the election, and of course, it's the second day of the official campaign season. It began yesterday, and uh, we'll see lots of activities. If you thought you've seen anything in this election, then you knew wrong because the campaign just begun. Now they are all the running mates that are required to, be, to, to have been named. Now they are becoming candidates and action begins. Let's start from Sirisia yesterday in Bungoma County as UDA lost one of its um, leaders uh, to Azimio Longmoja. Mimi Kipruto Arab Kirwa Nimeji Uzulu Kama mwenye kiti msaidizi wa chama cha UDA. Naweza kana, leo ni leo. Na nimeji uzulu kwa mana, nimeona demokrasia inaenda kupambuka kama tutaruhusu kuwa upande ule mwingine. Na njini munajua sheria za Kenya ni 50% plus one vote. Ndiyo nekasema hiyo kura yangu moja ntarudisha upande wa baba kwa hiyo nika hapa kwa hiyo mnajili Oh, all right, so that was Kipruto Kiro. Of course, he was received by uh, Royla Odinga, Akavalishwa Kofia, and of course, uh, now saying that um, he's working towards the dream of Azimiel Omoja. Uh, Caleb, this has been your vice chair, I think, for more than a year now since the group, regrouping of UDA. What could have led him to this decision? Did you ever see any comfort in him <coughs> as he presided over the affairs of the party? Well, yeah, yes, uh, Kipruto Kirua has been the vice chair of uh, UDA, very inactive in terms of um, uh, being out there nationally. A lot, actually, I saw yesterday in many forums, mm -hmm. members of UDA asking, I mean, you mean Kipruto was a vice chair? I mean, they, they, a lot of people didn't know. But I think it is, is um, decision to bolt out is, is okay. It uh, has no uh, serious dent on the UDA. We are uh, soldiering on. Um, whether there were any telltale signs, I have not uh, uh, been dealing with him on a daily basis, so I wouldn't mm -hmm. have, have read any signs. Mm -hmm. But uh, the way Kipruto has behaved, it's like uh, sitting here, the four of us, and then later on you hear one of us has committed suicide and you start <laughs> wondering, I didn't even see the telltale signs. So that is exactly <laughs> what uh, God for has done. Yeah, God forbid. <laughs> and, and life continues because um, uh, I think um, that is the way politics is and uh, it's not an issue. And he has said it there, he has gone with his one vote. So uh, whether that one vote will give the 50 plus one, it is, it is, it is okay. But we wish him well. Uh, let him uh, transition. He's worked with Martha Karua in the Kibaki government, with Mukisa Kitui, mm -hmm. whom I to I'm told by some sources is the main guy who told him, no, let's, this is the winning side or something like that. But uh, I think he has made a very big mistake, and uh, he has made those mistakes before. Um, but let's, let's, let's let him be. You know, we don't I, have time to I'm still struggling how you compare that to suicide. We need to move on and, uh, <laughs> and the campaign, uh, we have what, 71 days now? Yes. After today? Mm. Let's, let's, let's move on and campaign. I, I'm saying I'm still struggling to understand how you compare that to suicide. Are you using that metaphorically or, or you're just saying? No, I'm just saying it. <laughs> Sam and I, God forbid, now let's all be there tomorrow and until after the election. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, Honorable Mbui, what does this mean? I mean, still it appears even though we thought that uh, the formations had really formed, there's still a bit of shifting happening. <laughs> no, Sam, there's going to be much more shifting in uh, UDA. Uh, they've now lost the vice chair. Mm -hmm. uh, from all indications, they are likely to even lose their own chair. Uh, that is Mudama. And I'll tell you the reason. Also. Because uh, when they brought in Alfred Mutua, from former uh, Karen Machako's uh, county governor, uh, who don't see eye to eye with uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, with, uh, with with a former senator mm -hmm. uh, who is now the chair? The chair said he's not going to share a podium with uh, with this with this gentleman, and he's very categorical. He said he's not going to, sh to share a podium with him. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering how is it they are going to work together in UDA? So obviously one of them has to get out, and because uh, you know Mutua was the latest catch, that obviously puts a very big dent on uh, Mudama's uh, influence in that party. And and then let me tell you, even when they were talking. About 
about sharing of positions. We know, and you remember, you, you, you questioned uh, Governor Alfred Mutua in this show, I was here, mm -hmm. about uh, what is it he's getting from that government, and he did indicate that there were some things. Mm -hmm. I can tell you their chair, Mudama, has gotten nothing, no share of government. So obviously, but I he's don't running, think he's... he's running for Governor <coughs> he's, Machakos, isn't you see, he? You see, the, the vibe for Governor Machakos and the UDA for, 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 for uh, Johnston Mudama is a negative. Because he ran a candidate for Senate a few months ago, about a year ago. Mm -hmm. And what happened, that, that candidate did not lose because they were not good or they were not popular or they were not capable. It was because of a new DA. In fact, since then, their candidate for Senate has left that party and joined ODM because he tried to come to Wiper and Wiper already has its house full. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't get space in Wiper. So I can tell you that uh, the party is, uh, is, 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 is collapsing. They've lost the <laughs> vice chair. Their chair <laughs> is unhappy, is complaining. The treasurer <laughs> left. <laughs> the treasurer left. I don't know. I think. noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think this is, a, this is a deck of cards that's crumbling down, a house of Who's cards that's crumbling down. Eh? Mm. Who is the treasurer? Um, Umingo Magara. Ah, okay. He left, yeah? Oh, oh, all right, yes, yeah, yes, of course he did. Um, you know, Sam, I think what we need to focus on mm -hmm. is the issue here is who is the party leader. Forget about all these other small uh, <laughs> appointments here at, at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah? The issue is the party leader is William Ruto V, and that and is where there. we focus. And on the other side, it's, it's, it's Raila Odinga. That is where the contest is. So don't give us confusion about who is leaving. People can leave. The sweeper will leave, the tea girl will leave, the treasurer will leave, whoever will leave. And, 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 <laughs> but but and, some, and, and, some. No, it's not a big deal. Just hold on. Um, you were once Deputy Secretary General of Jubilee, the Jubilee Party. Jubilee Party yeah. When you left, did you think it was a small issue? I never left. I was kicked out. <laughs> Whichever, but yeah. you, you I out. Was it a small I, was, I was kicked out. It, it, it was a small issue, no. <laughs> my friend. It was a small issue because Jubilee was on its deathbed. <laughs> Jubilee could not even make it to give a running mate to Azimio. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Then, 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 then the, the Jubilee, Jubilee is finished. Right. It's, 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 so let's not uh, look at uh, loose focus mm -hmm. or get out of track. Mm -hmm. What we should be focusing on is the presidential candidate. And let no presidential candidate hide behind another. As we have William Ruto as our flag bearer, the other side have Raila Odinga, mm -hmm. and those are the two front runners. I think we don't need to, to, um, uh, to lie to each other. Those are the two front, either of them okay. will be president. On my side, I believe it is going to be William Ruto, who will be the fifth president. That is where we should focus. And the tea girls, we, we can forget. Uh, Haman, about usually, the usually, by the time you're having presidential or IBC nominations, these yeah. days they're calling it registration of candidates, by that time the teams have already formed. You don't start to see such kind of um, a shifting. What is different this time that is making people leave at such a time, including the question of Kalonzo Musioka, who is still might leave, may not leave? No, the dynamics of politics. Every, uh, polit every election takes place in its own political ecosystem mm -hmm. and with all its own peculiarities. So this is just what's happening. Allow me to talk about uh, Kirwa. Uh, and, uh, you know, Caleb, my friend, says Kilwa was just a small, maybe a T-boy in the party, and uh, we focus on the president. Uh, two things, Sam. Number one, politics is about perceptions. Mm -hmm. So it does not matter how inconsequential Kilwa or anybody else was. The perception is you've lost your vice chair. <laughs> Period. Number two, and I said, I don't know whether it's in this studio or one other studio, whatever, on my YouTube channel. I said this, I asked UDA not to celebrate the entry of Mutua and the Kingi into the party. And I told them, be careful, don't over celebrate. One, you are crowding the table and the Mount Kenya people are going to have second thoughts. They thought UDA and the Ruto and the government was theirs. Now that you are inviting a lot of other people, they are having to take a relook. Second thing I said is, do not over celebrate that you have caught Alfred Mutua and the Amazon King because you are soon going to begin hemorrhage. You are soon going to begin losing. What would that mean? If Azimio is zimiering because Mutua and the King have left, what are you going to do when you lose one, two, three, four, as it is now beginning to happen? You get it? So now, let me tell you what I foresee. S unless I'm not seeing well, there's going to be more hemorrhage from you, dear. Wait until these friends of yours, Kalu from our Kenya region, begin to look, come up with all manner of excuses 
When they, you hear they are going to Limuru, you should begin to tremble. They'll come from there saying, you know, because Mother Karua has been given this thing, and you know, we are yeah, blah, blah, blah. Is there a Limuru meeting? Flat? There could be one. I'm, I'm saying there could be one. <laughs> if there is one, or <coughs> Osagana, they should be scared. A lot of the fellows who support you from the mountain eh, will follow Kirwa into Azimio. Let me tell you finally what's going to happen. And the trembling you have seen, you ain't seen nothing yet. In a month or so, it's going to become clear who is winning this election. And why? Major movements, when a big chunk of UDA leadership or following in terms of those kingpins or those small, small fellows there move to Azimio, the game will be. Is there any, just like Mother is there Karua, for just like Mother Karua caused the havoc in your camp, Caleb, there's going to be a movement where two, three, four big names from UDA will move to Azimio, and that will be the end of the election. Sam, you I, see I'm it? asking, just hold on, uh, Kositan, is there any reason why members of UDA would defect to Azimio? First of all, it's natural. Secondly, it is becoming clear that Raila is winning. And that will attract people from the other side to go to as me. What, what but, gives but you that more importantly, more importantly, more importantly, let me say on this show, mm -hmm. more importantly, these are junior players. When you are a junior player entering Super League for the first time, you don't know games and you don't know moves. There are so many people in UDA, there are people in UDA who have been planted there. <laughs> The right time, the I like the speculation that, of that, Professor. Well, but, uh, let, let, let's let's allow my let, comment. I, I will. Let's listen to something <laughs> first um, so that we make progress on uh, the campaigns as they were um, on the side of Azimio Lomoja. Then we'll also listen to the campaigns of Kenya Kwanza as they were yesterday. Adman hata wali wali wapizani wetu tayari maanza kuwa na hali ya wasiwasi. Yeah. Mwanzo wasiwasi. Yeah. Unatetemeka. Yeah. Unatetemeka. Yeah. Lakini niambie mambo bado. Mkiniona hapo chini ya baba. Mimi sicheki na sichesi masaya ya kasi. Mkiona hii team hii ni ya wachapa kazi. Tupeni kazi mikono imezoea kazi mikono ya baba imezoea kazi Nini mumejipanga ama nini ni wale wakupangwa Deep state ndio kusema ama nini ndio kusema System ndio kusema ama nini ndio kusema Wale wanasema sisi ndio kusema nione kwa mkono Eh bwana Mekubaliana na mweshimu wa William Ruto Tumusaidia kazi ya kupanga uchumi Bei ya kahawa, ya majani chai, ya maziwa, ya mchele, ya nyanya na mazao yetu hapa kirinyaga. Tumesikizana na yetu msaidie, tupanga vijana na wamama kwa sako. Ataweka bilioni hamsini ya kusaidia wetu wafanya biashara. Right, so those were the events of yesterday from Azimiola Umoja and Kenya Kwanza campaigns. Kenya Kwanza was in Kirinyaga, Azimiola Umoja was in Bungoma. And of course, uh, there were 18 aspirants for the presidential seat. Two have already fallen off. The other 16 are supposed to be submitting the paper starting today until uh, the 6th of June. We also understand that uh, Mongyo area had been um, cleared by IBC as compliant in terms of submission of papers, but he's not on the schedule. He was complaining uh, last night that um, uh, he has been denied um, hearing or appearance with the IBC. will be following up to see what happens and what the big challenge could be. But even as we do that, um, let me get back to you, um, Honorable Mboye. As you look at the state of the race at this moment, sorry, we don't have a clip of uh, Kalonzo Musioka. I don't think he had an event yesterday. Mm -hmm. But do you think the picking of a running mate has defined this race in a manner that is different from what you knew before the picking of those running mates? And what would that be? Yeah, I think I think so, Sam. I think, uh, in fact, it's one of the things I was going to have said because mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the things I believe is that people are leaving uh, this team of Kenya Kwanza, the Tangatanga -Tanga team, because 
they f start feeling that maybe this team is going to lose. And people don't want to be part of a losing team. So when you see a team starting to lose people towards the tail end of the elections, that means, uh, or, or actually, when, when the campaigns are now just starting to get heated towards the end, then it means they've, they, they've sensed defeat and they don't want to be out of government. And, and, and the reason, I would say, is actually the appointment of uh, the deputy president. I think, uh, I think for, I don't know, what would have uh, advised uh, Ruto to pick uh, Rigadi as his deputy, uh, as his running mate? Because clearly, when you look at um, Rigadi versus uh, Mata Karua versus even ours, Andrew Sunkuli, uh, it, it's, it's like day and night, you know? The, the reality is that um, the, 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 it was a big mistake. Uh, Rigadi has been quoted numerous times uh, saying the wrong things. For example, there's a clip that's doing the rounds. He, he talked about the, a community which is really against NCIC standards. When he said, oh, how many votes do Kambas have? You know, How many votes? Just about a million, two million. Uh, that is nothing. Uh, you cannot speak that way. Did I hear that? Yes, there, yes. there is. A, he, did, he did say that. It's, it's a, a fact. It's, a, it's a, the clip is there. Uh, I can clip. share it with you. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I'm sure the studio has, has it. They, he did say that. Now, some of those things uh, later on now, the people of our community are asking, why would you belittle us because we are few? I mean, it, it doesn't, you, you could be more than us, but we have substance, we have leaders, we have people that are worth uh, electing, like my party leader. So you cannot uh, dismiss us by virtue of the fact that our numbers are small. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, Kenya is made up of small communities, small tribes. So then that person is picked as running mate. So obviously a lot of Kenyans are disgruntled and are wondering, what kind of leadership is this? And, and then, of course, you heard what he said when he went to some local studio and he talked about uh, Safaricom, you know, uh, you know, not we don't want big companies like Safaricom. We can split them into small kiosks so that everybody gets something to do. I mean, some of I, I think for me, uh, the blunder that the the, the, the blunder of Piki Rigadi mm -hmm. is costing Kenya Kwanza dearly. But allow me to ask uh, my my friend uh, Honorable Kositani to to apologize. I, I, I see you my... spoke at length about uh, the running mate of Kenya Kwanza. You didn't speak about as mere running mate. <laughs> no, but but I've just said that it's the difference like day and night. Andrew Sunkuli and uh, and and Martha Karua, those are clean politicians have that they, have not been have quoted. Have they helped the tickets? Yes, definitely they have helped the tickets because now if you go to Narok, you go to Kajiado, you go to the Ma Nation, you find that uh, my party leader is is is, is a shining because the last time anyone considered someone from that region for a senior position mm. was in 1960 something when uh, Murumbi was given the position of vice president. So obviously the, we've appealed to 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 that team, but the the truth is sometimes uh, Sam, it's not about <coughs> it's it's not even about the other person. It's about your own candidate. Mm -hmm. Regardless is his own worst enemy. And the problem is the things he has said. Even locally when he goes and says when you become president all we want is for you to be cooking for us and giving our people rice and, and beef. I mean those kind of comments they may seem light but you know at the end of the day that defines the kind of person you are. So I think it, it's unfortunate but I think uh, that team has lost out because of the deputy president's position. But I wanted to ask my friend uh, Honorable Caleb Kositani to apologize to my former senator. You know when he calls him a tigal, and this gentleman is holding this party for them. He has not yet left. I never he called him later. a tigal. Like they're all tigals. <laughs> the only person who matters. He said, he, you re rewind. He said, the only person that matters is a presidential candidate, William Samuel Ruto. The rest are tigals. I don't know, cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will not defend you because you're here. You, you yeah. get your right of reply. Uh, but what has been the impact of... Uh, when you look at both camps, if you can, objectively so, uh, when you Some look at... Why are you saying two camps? Please look. Okay, when you look at now. all the camps. <laughs> all the camps, two. You <laughs> <laughs> Or should I say all the two camps? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you think has been the impact of uh, the picking of this running mates, especially on the acceptability of those tickets across the country? Well, uh, Sam, unlike my friend here, Robert, I will speak about both Mm -hmm. uh, both uh, the camps. Mm -hmm. He has uh, spent a lot of time on Gashagwa. But I want to say this. When you see your opponent uh, telling you you have picked the wrong person, what business is it of theirs? They should be celebrating. Why are they lamenting mm -hmm. about Gashagwa? They should be saying, now quiet. They've picked the wrong person. Now it's a holiday for us. But they are busy telling us how wrong it was for us, uh, for the Deputy President William Ruto, to pick Gashagwa as his running mate. Meaning, 
the impact that Shago has created is massive. And that is why they keep uh, talking about him. And they're taking, they're dragging Kashagwa the same route. They dragged William Ruto, calling him names. Oh, he said this, he said that, he's not clean, he's not what. Those, all that has been said about William Ruto, but he still remains a front runner. Number two, um, uh, 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 Sam, mm -hmm. what has come out ab about this naming of running mates? You can see from the Azimio side, they've had difficulty selling their presidential candidates in some areas. So they're now putting him in the back banner and putting the running mate at the front. But the, the, the race remains between William Ruto and Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. That is how the, 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 the race is, uh, is, is defined. But they're trying now to make it a race between running mates. And I even put up a tweet uh, that the race is between one man who ran for MP in 1997 and the man who started running for president in 1997. And how does that help their credentials? It helps their credentials because, here. listen, if you have been running for president from 1997, while one person was joining politics, you were already running for president. You are now, he has now caught up with you. Moi left, exited the scene. Kibaki exited the scene. And now William Ruto, Uhuru Kenyatta, has exited, is exiting the scene in about 70-something uh, days. And now William Ruto is, has found you still running for the same position, that tells a lot about that particular candidate. So with me, it doesn't matter who um, the issue of, of running mate should not be the key. The issue is but, but, but the president, who is the presidential candidate for side do, do A, you think, side B. Do you think the picking of Martha Karu as a running mate has impacted on the Raila Odinga campaign and specifically in Mount Kenya? Well, I think it has um, given them something to talk about they really didn't have much to say about their candidate. Now they're talking about their deputy, uh, their, their running mate candidate, who is not being voted for. People are going to go to the ballot and they will look for William Ruto, they will look for Raila Odinga and any other. I will not say Kalonzo because he's not there yet, forgive me, uh, <laughs> you, you, Robert. You know, it's, inter it's interesting when you say that, but you come from Rift Valley. Yes. In 2013 and 2017, you voted for Uhuruto. Did it matter who the running mate was on that ticket? It did not matter because then, it, listen, it was a different formation then. This was an issue that was decided and we were in two political parties. Mm -hmm. Remember, we were in uh, URP, URP yeah. and uh, they were in TNA and then we had had a, a merger. So it mattered, yes, because this was where our family was, right? So right now, it's, uh, it's, it's about the presidential candidate and I don't want so, people so, to hide. So, so are, are you telling me it doesn't matter uh, that the name of Rigadi Gashago is on the ticket? It matters because it's already, it's, it's already there on the ticket, yeah? It, re it, it matters, but it should not be brought to the front. The presidential candidate is the one that matters most. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Then why did it take 17 hours of negotiation to arrive at... It could, it could have even taken more or less. That was our party, uh, the way our party Your decided style. to do things. That was our style. Okay. And at the end of it all, we have a running mate. Haman, should it matter? <laughs> uh, hashtag, give regard your mic. <laughs> 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 you know that, eh? Mm -hmm. And then let's, uh, just to comment on what is, uh, let people not talk about their running mate. But are the ones who have been talking about Kalonzo uh, to be running mate more than anybody else for the longest time ever. These are guys of contradictions. <laughs> but let me answer that question, which the two of them have failed to answer. Mm -hmm. One has failed, one has refused. <laughs> this election will be decided on the mountain. Mm -hmm. Period. Now, when you go to the mountain, they are not looking at 2022. The mountain is looking at life after Uhuru Kenyatta. They are looking at succession. You people are looking for a president elsewhere. The Gamer people are looking for succession. And inevitable for that reason, Sam, mm -hmm. they look at the Gadega Shagwa and look at Madakarwa. And maybe Andros Nkuli, who is not from there. So they will look at the Gadega Shagwa and Madakarwa. They have a very clear choice. They are looking at it. After Raila or after Ruto, who of these two people can we sell across the country beyond Mount Kenya? Can we take it gather to Kisumu and sell him as a presidential candidate? Can we take Mother Karua to Costa and sell her as a presidential candidate after Raila? This is a very clear choice for the, for the Kikuyu and the Gemma nation. And that's why this, this campaign has collapsed.
Because the moment so, Raila picked Mother Karua, the game was decided. Which campaign has collapsed? The, 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 the Ruto campaign just collapsed. They, how, how so? <laughs> in America, he could we have suspended his in, campaign. just saw them in Kirinyaga. That is just... In, 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 in Kirinyaga, you know, you just keep up a show because you also <laughs> not, you need votes for parliamentary... What do you mean a campaign has collapsed? William Samoy Ruto when it's supposed is to an beginning. intelligent politician who knows the game is lost. He's looking for parliamentary seats and the control of counties. Not, not, not State House. So, State Haman, House is gone. Are you speaking from analysis or, yes, from, yes, yes. or from personal... Views? I am telling you, and I've said this repeatedly, that for William Ruto to win, he needs the Jubilee votes of 2017. A big chunk of that vote, an overwhelming percentage of that vote was from the mountain. So he must maintain the mountain, both in turnout and in numbers, not below 80%. What is happening? The moment you choose Mother Karua as running mate, and the dynamics of the politics of succession within the man mountain kicks, t kicks off, you already subjected the mounted to serious onslaught from Azimio. Meaning, mm -hmm. therefore, that the 2025 or so percent that Raila would have gotten to, 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 re to reduce William uh, Ruto's chances of being president mm -hmm. is now moving to 40, 45, 50 percent. Uh, meaning there's no campaign Ruto has. It's gone. <laughs> well, um, a gentleman called Crispus is telling me that we need to remind Horabo Mbui that once upon a time there was a vice president by the name George Saitoti. He came from the Maasai community. The Maasai community, or the Ma community. Now let's take a look at uh, some of the feedback of what Kenyans are saying. Um, Atanas Mavoti, SKM, that is Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, should go all the way to the ballot. And even if he forces a runoff, he is the only way he can be accorded utmost respect as a leader and as Kamba Kingpin. And since he will have a good number of MPs, he'll have a chance to negotiate a good percentage in government. That's Atanas. Um, someone else on Twitter, uh, Citizen TV Kenya, uh, Maganga, you, stay, you say, Kira's move is an indicator of some burning issues in UDA, though the officials claim he was an issue, but the outcome will speak loud. Um, someone else is saying that um, this is the night nurse. Wow, okay. You promise double-digit economy, 50 shillings unga, 1 million jobs a year, 6 international stadia, including justification on port operations, only to apologize after failing to deliver to Kenyans? Leaders must be accountable to the people. Of course, commenting about our earlier conversation about Ruto's apology. Uh, this is Remy Butia, you say. Systemic and institutional issues persist in IBC. The autonomy of IBC, inadequate technology infrastructure, and security are concerns in Kenya. ICT systems are essential to achieve a credible electoral outcome. And of course, we'll be uh, following up with the IBC to see the state of affairs in as far as preparedness for the election and also the challenges uh, that uh, aspirants or now candidates, uh, Kina Robert Mboy, have been facing. We'll be back at nine to talk about um, what the IABC is looking for in clearing these candidates and of course the integrity questions. We've seen as a number of civil societies saying, civil society groups saying that uh, all candidates or aspirants with um, integrity issues or cases in court should be barred from running. What does that mean? Thank you, gentlemen. Robert Mbui from Kathiani, uh, Caleb Kositanyi from Soy, and Herman Manyora, um, the political analyst and also lecturer at the University of Nairobi for making time for us. Up next is Sporting Monday, and they'll be here to tell you why Liverpool is not the champions. That was a really good day. My name is Sam Gitu. Goodbye for now.